I've been in this ATP flight school program for a few months now. So, am I living the dream or just dreaming? You're about to find out. Welcome to Trek to Greatness, and here is the three month update of my ATP flight school program. Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a student pilot at ATP Flight School at their Lawrenceville, Georgia location. And I'm creating videos like this one to chronicle my journey towards becoming a commercial jet pilot and hopefully encourage you to trek to greatness on whatever road you're on. And right quick, can I just say how cool it was to look on as our training center's director prepared to evaluate that student on one of her final eval flights towards becoming a certified flight instructor? It perfectly illustrates the point that I'm about to make in a little bit, but first to my own situation. If you saw my previous video, then you know that my wife and I made some pretty drastic changes in our lives in order for me to go to flight school, all for the sake of living out my dreams and providing a better future for our family. <laughs> Man, I love those kids. Anyway, a lot has happened in those first few months while working towards my first rating, private pilot, single engine aircraft. But there were some hurdles I was expected to rise above before achieving that first coveted milestone. And I still remember that first day when things first started to click. With flying pretty much every single weekday that there's good weather, flying in Piper Archer aircraft like you see behind me, that's actually November 347 Delta. And that's the plane that I flew today. And what I did with this airplane is I did some laps in the traffic pattern, which means basically I'm just practicing taking off and landing while at my home base of operations, Gwinnett County Airport. And it was amazing because for the first time, I feel like I'm really locking in my ability to take off and land. Takeoffs and landings, and especially that second one, landings, can be particularly tricky. In fact, so much so, we recently had a fellow student who had to discontinue the program because of his inability to perfect the landings. And I, I get it. I understand why he had such a tough time. Because, let's face it, flying an airplane is challenging enough. Directing a powerful piece of machinery weighing thousands of pounds through three dimensions of space while manipulating at least four controls, six gauges that you're monitoring, and then you throw in their landings, where you're basically aiming the airplane at the ground while managing your pitch, power, airspeed, and yaw to maintain longitudinal alignment with the runway and a proper rate of descent to basically gracefully touch down on the runway on the intended point of touchdown, all while making sure you flare at the correct moment and angle while correcting for unseen forces like ground effect and crosswind Y'all, I can remember a time when I would be so relieved to have even a decent landing without my instructor having to step in and intervene that I would basically be like, descending into ground effect, holding off the nose, flare, stall horn, and touchdown. <laughs> Your flight controls. <laughs> and then my instructor would take care of rollout, braking, and getting off the runway while I processed the glory of what had just taken place. And I can truly say that I've come a long way since it first all clicked for me and I continue to work towards perfecting a variety of different performance takeoffs and landings. And uh, things were going great. I had passed my private pilot written exam with flying colors. I went on an eval flight with the more senior instructor and did well. And then this day came. So today is a very special day. It is my first time soloing an airplane, flying the plane by myself, unassisted, with no one else in the airplane. This is exactly two months to the day that I first got in an airplane to start my flying lessons here at ATP Flight School. Um, it's a humbling experience. It is exciting. But at the same time, you're just kind of containing yourself because you know you have to maintain your composure. You know that you have to 
do all the things that your flight instructor has instructed you to do, all the things that you've learned through reading and through practicing how to do this. Uh, take off landing, flying in the pattern um, by yourself, doing the appropriate landing. Um, setting up the plane the way it's supposed to, communicating with air traffic controllers. And uh, my wife and kids are going to be here to see me fly. They are a big part of the reason why I'm doing this and a big part of the reason why I've been successful so far. My wife has been holding it down at home with the kids and uh, just allowing me to help as I can. And I'm so incredibly proud of her. And I'm so grateful to my family for calling and asking, hey, how's flight school going? And encouraging me um, through the tough times. And yeah, let's do this. And then after that clip, I really don't have a whole lot of my actual takeoff and landings and flying around on my first solo because my wife was so overwhelmed with the joy and trying to manage the kids that, uh, okay, I'll show you the shaky clip that we did get. Miles, come back. You got it. Yes, ma'am. Come back. Miles, come back, baby, okay? Come back over here. That's not safe. Come back over here. Watch the landing. The day of my first solo truly was a memorable experience. From the first takeoff to the last landing, when I greeted my family, it was all unforgettable. Wave at the camera, say hi, baby. Hi. Cadence, Miles, I love you too. Michael J, you the man. Couldn't have done it without you, sir. And to my loving wife, you amaze me, sweetheart. Oh, and sorry for knocking your camera skills. So yeah, that was a pretty special day, and if you've never soloed, I can tell you it's as memorable as everyone says that it is. And that shirt tail is still hanging up in the lobby with the rest of the gang who did their first solos over the summer. And the solo stuff didn't stop there. I just finished flying my second of two consecutive cross-country flights. One yesterday and one today in which I was challenged to fly from here at my local airfield at Lawrenceville, Georgia, on over to Anderson, South Carolina, and then down to Greene County, Georgia. And it was just an eye-opening experience to look into the passenger seat and see that unlike your previous flights and uh, just like your last solo flights, it's just you up there in the airplane. You're relying solely upon the instruction that you've been given, the material that you've been challenged to study, and on your own aeronautical decision-making skills, and your own pilotage and navigational skills, and your own familiarity with the aircraft to be able to get you from point A to point B to point C, and then back home here to Gwinnett County again. And uh, looking down and seeing just miles of vast farmlands and different areas of Georgia and lakes. It was really cool to know that this is what I'm signing up to do for a living. This is what it is that I want to do to be able to be in the sky in control of the aircraft and doing what the people are depending on me to do to get from point A to point B. And I just got to say that I'm really grateful for the training and for the instruction that I've received thus far to know that that's even possible to know that even two and a half months ago I was just starting this program hoping to someday fly an airplane and it really uh, helps me to see that if you want to achieve something in your life it's possible through hard work and clinging to your faith and clinging to the belief that you can achieve those things you can really go for it and I want to thank my family for their support and for helping me to do what it is that I'm doing here today. It's truly a blessing to be able to sit before you today and say that in this first three month period I've been able to accomplish everything that I've set out to do, everything that the program has outlined that you get done within that three month period. But I know I'm just getting started. Um, I've got two more trimesters if you want to think of it that way and next up is my multi-engine rating my multi-engine add-on for private pilot license and that comes 
here later this month, in fact, and I'm studying, 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 making sure that I know all the maneuvers and everything that I need to do procedurally to be ready to fly this Piper Seminole. And I hope that you subscribe and watch along with me on my journey as you trek to greatness. Thanks for watching.